the dark side. This is how it starts creeping out. Oh! Happy Easter, everyone. I got my hair cut today. Hope you guys are having a good time with your families. Happy Passover for anybody who's celebrating that. We are going to be starting Tales of a Jedi. I think this is the backstory of Ahsoka Tano, who's turning out to be one of my favorite characters. I'm trying to go in chronological order, but I think I might miss a few steps here and there. But luckily someone said, someone let me know that if I do miss a few steps, a few beats, that I'll be directed in the right path. Just trust it in the force. And those of you who are new to the channel, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and tap that bell to get my latest Star Wars content. And let me know how you guys feel about this particular show. Anyways, guys, let's check it out. Oh, so Ahsoka's a big deal even here. She another chosen one from this tribe. I think we're gonna learn the meaning of that hat. That's what it's called. So I wonder if all these people are still alive or where they are now in Star Wars. And like, what planet is this? Ahsoka. Ahsoka. Life and death. Are you sure she is ready? It is custom. In old days. Old ways for the old. Not you, Bhavdi. Not yet. Don't make fun. You'll insult the spirits. The tree. So, so they're supposed to be like Native Americans? Good hunting, Pafti. My little Soka. This reminds me a lot of the cast of Prey. Pafti, off on the hunt? Has it been more than a year already? It has, Gondika. She's only one? Does she have to hunt somebody? Or hunt something? For luck. To a mine. All right, they're throwing a little Lion King in here. Who am I? Well, the mom gets one too. I already love this vibe. Ah, no. I don't think I'm ready to see a squirrel be killed off in Star Wars yet. Look, Asaka. Everywhere there is life. Value it. Honor it. There better not be pilgrims that show up. Oh, what? They threw this in Star Wars? There's life all around, value it. I'm about to kill a deer. Oh, look, a rabbit. <laughs> You know who really loves animals? Fez. He does? Yeah. <laughs> so mad she just gave her that good quote and then took it away with her actions. The episode should have been called Hypocrite. Soka doesn't like it. You must face Death, Ahsoka. Do not fear it. It's sad. Bad parenting. This is what she's showing her one year old. What am I watching? This one will feed many. Think we can lift it? Yes, I think so too. All right, I'm, I'm I'm rooting for this wolf. Saber to tiger. Let's see if karma, karma steps in here.
She's on a rampage. She better never tell anybody to value life again. <laughs> you know, I guess it's humans versus animals. Oh, that's when they should shoot that thing. Oh, and it still got her? No offense, Pofty, but you kind of did that to yourself. I don't feel bad for you. Ah. So oh, little Soka. So maybe the Jedi are gonna find her, make her a good person. Okay, so the tiger's not bad so far. Oh, I'm kind of getting nervous. Oh no. Holding my breath. There is no sign of her or the creature. We will go out in force. We will not stop until we find her. Well, the tiger's bringing her back home. So are they going to explain why she's special? Rakshir. The tiger was teaching you a lesson. That tiger has uh, Mufasa vibes. That scene was kind of deep because it's like, I know it's probably not supposed to mean this or be meant that way, but the tiger looked like she was showing Havti to really value life because she was teaching her baby to kill living things and be okay with it. So the tiger was showing her if her baby got killed, she should deal with it. So hopefully she learned a valuable lesson from this. I think we all did. Ahsoka is Jedi. All right, episode one. Very impactful. Well, to me, because that's the way I interpreted it. I don't know how everybody else is gonna interpret that. Episode two, justice. No, that's Count Dooku with the black hair. And that's a young Qui-Gon Jinn. So now I think we're going to see more of a connection with Qui-Gon and Count Dooku. Because in Attack of the Clones, the way he spoke about Qui-Gon, like they were super close. Because he's like, I wish Qui-Gon was here. I wonder what Qui-Gon would think of Count Dooku turning to the dark side. Where is the child? It sounds like Snape. Clearly. Where are they holding the senator's son? Allow me to make my intentions clear. Oh, is that a threat? Jedi. What do you know of Senator Dagonet? He is one of the longest standing senators in the Republic. If you don't like him, why not elect a new senator? I wish it were that simple. Qui-Gon is so innocent. And rational. I will show you where the senator's son is. Oh, they kidnapped the son? You're one of the kidnappers. Oh. They all are. Justice. Uh oh. Justice. <laughs> I feel like that word has a dark meaning now. I guess it depends who delivers the word. And since this episode is about Kantuku, justice seems like it's not going to be a good thing. Have you been treated well? For a prisoner? Yeah. I thought that was a girl. How could my father allow this to happen to his people? You don't blame them for abducting you. What choice do they have? So, he's seeing how the poor people of Star Wars live. He's here. You have deceived us, Master Jedi. Oh. No. Our coming here was not known to the Senator. Oh, these episodes are dope. Jedi. Arrest these criminals and have them release my son at once. Oh, so the Jedi's are working for the rich people. I'm afraid our investigation is not yet complete. Investigation? They abducted my son. I'm sure you, your son, is in no immediate danger. Stop. 
step aside, Jedi. All right. We cannot. We serve the people of this Republic. Oh, wow. Can we just calm down and talk first? Why does his lightsaber bend like that? Oh! Oh no! Can they tell him to wait a second? They should put the sun out there so the sun can tell him not to shoot. They should have at least let him see his son. The lightsabers look sick. Oh, Count Dooku was not happy. Now he's saying how the world works. Oh, the dark side! This is how it starts creeping out! Oh! Quite I felt Count Dooku using the dark side. Yeah, go out there, go out there. Yeah, go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Qui-Gon got a little scared there. I will not allow your suffering to continue. I promise. Say that now. I wonder if any meaningful change will come of this. Your actions saved many lives today. Just You're a much wiser man than I, Qui-Gon Jinn. Thanks to your teachings. Uh, that's the same quote he gave to Obi-Wan. Qui-Gon stayed on the straight path while Count Dooku verted off. Right into episode 3, Choices. Who ambushed the senator? Why? And if Master Catry was killed, how did the senator escape? Since we are not members of the council, we cannot involve ourselves in local political skirmishes. Oh, this is before Mace Windu was a member of the council. Your devotion to rules is sometimes inspiring and sometimes maddening. <laughs> That's kind of funny. When uh, Count Dooku sees Mace Windu in Attack of the Clones, which I thought there should be an epic fight between them, you could tell like they have a they you could tell the way he spoke to him, old friends, that he had a backstory with Mace Windu, and now we're seeing it here. Foolish, my old Jedi friend. So now we're going to get Mace Windu's backstory a little bit, because this is before he was on the council. I am Jedi Master Windu, and this is Master Dooku. We are here to see Senator Lark. We are saddened by what happened to Master Katri. Rebels. Considering they were threatening war, I decided to return to Raxus. I confided as much to Master Katri when she arrived. Being the Jedi that she was, she refused to let me out of her sight. That voice does not match that cartoon. With her life. Senator, we've taken enough of your time. If you can show us where Master Katri's body is. Well, I'd like to see where you and Katri went to meet this informal. It's obvious that he's hiding something. We should take this information back to the council. Would you want Katri to leave without finding out what happened to you? I would want her to follow protocol. Oh, gosh. So, Master Dooku... He's that's Qui Gon's like that too. Like he doesn't want to follow this like the rules, rules. But it's dangerous when you do that because you drift. You might drift off too far, like Count Dooku does eventually, and then you can't find your way back. Master Katri exited the ship first, and before she could clear the area, they descended upon her, firing upon her immediately. Something's fishy. If Master Ketri were fired upon here, blast marks on your ship. Judging from your description, someone fired from the direction. Uh oh. For a Jedi to succumb to a surprise attack is rare. Unless that attack is from someone one would trust. I will have the truth. Dooku, stand down. He didn't do anything yet. May Swindu, relax. Dooku knows what he's doing. May Swindu's a little square. Yeah, now what do you have to say, Mace Windu? Oh, 
But the cartoon fights like Mace Windu did in Clone of the War in, in uh, Attack of the Clones. They really got it down packed. The lightsabers look dope in this. You and all of the Senate puppets will see a reckoning. They're pointy at the end of their lightsabers in this. Why were they trying to kill the Jedi? Tell us your reason for killing Master Catry. Oh, here we go. Why did you let the Senator live? Because we were going to force him to put forth our own agenda at the next Senate hearing meeting. Hmm. Jedi are lapdogs of the Senate. Their bidding always comes first. It's oh. evident throughout the galaxy. Jedi claim peace, but mostly keep law and order for the rich and powerful. Oh, it's cool that they're adding this into Star Wars. Katri was a Jedi. She would have listened. Oh, it's kind of sad to kill Katri. Your ideology, while faulty, does have its points. I'm surprised to hear that from a Jedi. Why? Jedi, listen. Dooku. Mace Windu says Jedi's listen, but he's specifically not listening. I don't condone your methods, but you had every right to protect your planet. So Dooku sees the other side too. The council will have questions. I believe they'll be happy to know that we solved Master Catri's murder. Right? But will they be happy with your tactics? I have no problem explaining myself. Yeah, right? Mace Windu. Now let me ask you one thing. Do you think the Jedi will truly keep peace? If they continue to take everything the Senate says as law. Good question. Ah, uh, this is why Count Dooku strays away. This is so important to see. Yoda. Yoda. As relentlessly, she was of the Force. It flowed with certainty through her. Hmm. Don't Jedi get cremated? What's going on? Windu, a minute. Uh oh. I am told you will be presented with Master Catra's council seats. I will. Oh. I was as surprised as you are now. Dooku, I stuck to the mission. You decided to interfere in a way that led to a senator's death. I will speak to the council on your behalf. How kind of you. Master Jedi. Oh my gosh. Wow, Mace Windu's a little snitch. Not gonna lie, I'm starting to like Count Dooku a little more. Wow. What a little traitor. What a little traitor. All right, guys, so I have just watched three episodes of Tales of a Jedi. I love that we're getting backstories on all these people. This seems like, this might be one of my favorite Star Wars content I think I've seen. Like, it's top tier. This was really good. And if Star Wars fans haven't seen it, they need to see this. Because this was, this was very important. It definitely shows you how Count Dooku started turning closer and closer to the dark side. And although Mace Windu is trying to do the right thing and follow the rules, it was a little messed up that he just threw Count Dooku under the bus to get a seat. Seeing a young Qui-Gon is dope. I wish he had his own little miniseries because he looks cool. Just the character design and everything. And the lightsabers really stuck out. For those of you who have seen this, what are you guys thinking about this? Because there should be a lot more Star Wars content like this. Because this was awesome.